What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel, The Auto Shop Life, hanging out with me. So, the last video I showed you guys the final reveal on the BMW, you know, project we've been working on, you know, the better part of four months or so. You guys have been following the channel, you guys kind of see where I was at with it. You know, I, I'm not sure if I told, told the story of how I got it and all that stuff, but picked it up off a customer. Didn't even want it, ended up, you know, giving the customer an offer, he took my offer. Ended up using the money towards the flip series cars that we've been flipping up to, uh, you know, fix this thing up. So basically, you know, the money we put into the BMW kind of wasn't out of my pocket, was on side money we were making on the flip series. But I want to go ahead and reset and tell you guys what I got planned. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, so getting to it, you guys know I do these flip series videos for you guys as mechanics or DIY guys, guys that own tools and are good with their hands. You know, you obviously you got your full time job, but you also got your side, you know, your side jobs, your side hustle. Obviously for me it's flipping cars. I do it, my wife does, you know, she finds the cars, wherever I get them from, flip them up for the next one. But like I said guys, I want to go ahead and reset. You guys know in that last video, if you caught the reveal of my last video, I talked about a couple other cars that we've picked up. One is a uh, in the parking lot here, 2004 Volvo XC90. We're gonna go out there and show you guys this one. It is rough. And then the other one, I got a 2008. I want to say Pontiac G6. I've actually had that one for maybe a month or so, the better part of a month. G6 needs a transmission. This Volvo needs a motor and a lot more at that. But like I said, we'll put the coat on run out there show you guys what's going on with this thing these things tell you kind of where I got in them and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretty much start off with the remainder of the money that I had from the last couple cars you guys seen we flipped you know the money I didn't spend on the BMW and all that stuff so basically we'll say maybe maybe two thousand bucks maybe fifteen hundred bucks we'll, we'll see where we're at but we're gonna do is do a video series on starting off with these two flipping these cars up keeping track of all the money you know we have we spend on the car obviously you guys know starting off you know it's gonna need a motor and trans however we do it um, you know I'm thinking about just getting a uh, used motor fixing it up for the Volvo the G6 I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet maybe take trip part the trans see what it actually needs to see what we're gonna do but we're gonna take you guys along with for the ride so you know we'll start off with the same you know the, the cash we have left basically donor cash to start this flip series not including the money I got tied into these cars already or maybe we can count that money towards so we'll start off with two grand compared I think I got I got about four hundred dollars between the both of them just picking them up so that's what we got so far so we're at about sixteen hundred bucks right now but we're gonna keep flipping these cars up take you guys with for the for the ride show you guys do a couple videos maybe putting the motor in or what we decide to do as far as the trans goes flip these things up sell them get the profit by the next one because I've been looking for a uh, you know early 2000 Honda Civic. You know I, I had one before. You know it's kind of one of those things where you have one of those cars you wish you would have never sold. But I'm ready to get another one. You know I, I definitely want to uh, you know get a B series motor for it. And uh, you know this I, it's something I've been thinking about for a while. You know and actually before getting this BMW, that's kind of where I was going with it. You know my wife wants to get a Jeep. I wanted to get the Honda again. I'll show you guys some pictures of the Honda I had in the past. Did some of the work on it. Ended up trading for a uh, trading for a motorcycle I had. One of the guys that worked here, you know, best trade ever. We both ended up happy. Here's the bike I traded for him. A couple pics of that. My old bike traded. Pretty much a straight up trade. But that Civic, when I got it, some of the although some of the work was done on it, it still needed a lot more work. So it was kind of nice. So I was able to kind of fix it up and finish it off and mod it and paint it the way I like it to fit my style. But uh, I want to do it again, you know, like I said, I, I'd love for it to be an SI, but I'll, I'll settle for, you know, I got a wide range between, you know, 98, 99, 2001, you know, I'm not picky. Whatever we find out there, I don't really necessarily want to look now. I want to wait, flip these cars, see how fast we can do it, end of 2019 into 2020, see where we're at, maybe in the next three months or so, depending on how fast we can get these cars flipped out of here, and if we make money on these, you know, we'll use that money towards buying a Civic, whether it's going to need work or not, buying the motor, you know, modifying it up and all that. Like I said, guys, I'll take you guys with for a ride. Just so you guys can see, 
you know, what can be done? I'm sure most of you guys out there have done side jobs. Most of you guys out there are good working with your hands and all that stuff. You know, me as a business owner, yeah, I might own a business and run businesses and also out there working on customers' cars and, you know, and being a mechanic, but I always got my hobbies. I got my side hustles. You know, it just happens to be that, you know, my hobbies and my side hustles are pretty much one and the same. You know, it, it is, it's a lifestyle of mine. It's, you know, it's how I live my life. It's what I love to do. So, you know, making money is just a side effect of it, you know, and being able to flip up these cars or make money to pay bills or, you know, buy tools or buy other cars or other things, you know, whatever it is. So, I want to take you guys with, we'll kind of put down in the description of every video, you know, kind of where we're at as far as money goes, what was spent on the car on that particular video in general. I think it'll be pretty cool. You guys let me know down in the comment section if you like an idea like this. You know, I'll also make a playlist or anything from here on out that has to do with this flip series or getting up to that Honda or anything else. But I think it's going to be pretty fun. I think it's going to be a cool journey seeing kind of, you know, our profit and losses and all that stuff. Maybe I'll guys take you with, you know, how I list these cars, who I find to sell to. Most of the time when I sell these cars, it tends to just kind of fall into my lap between, you know, family, customers, things like that. You know, I don't necessarily, I don't use Craigslist at all. I don't use things like that. You know, maybe, you know, Lauren sells them too. She might use Marketplace and, you know, the Facebook Marketplace or whatever it's called. You know, I, I tend to not do that. I'm more of a word of mouth guy. You know, hey, I know a guy looking for a car and that's usually how I sell them. But it's been working out for us. You know, it, you know, definitely uh, I like to go through these cars, make sure they're good running, strong running cars. You know, all the major problems pretty much good before I sell them. So we'll see on some of these cars if we're even going to make anything because that Volvo out there is pretty rough but I'm going to get my sweater on we'll go out there show you guys the two cars that we're going to work with the base of these two start off with 1600 bucks I'd probably say in it right now between the profit we have left minus the money we it took to buy these two cars got titles in hands keys in hands you know they, they both you know they both need plenty of work the G6 obviously runs but needs a trans and the Volvo does not run it and needs, definitely needs a motor. The Volvo's got a lot of good to it. You know, I, I definitely know, came from a customer, I definitely know the transmission's been just been rebuilt on it. You know, I know he did brakes, the tires aren't so bad, but let's go out there, show you guys what is bad on it. All right, guys. So it's probably kind of loud out here with the traffic, but here's the keys to the two. We'll start off with the Volvo. You guys get a shot of the outside. Uh, it looks like it may be leaking something also, but 2004 XC90, this thing is the uh, straight six, all-wheel drive. You know, decent from the outside. It's got a little bit of dings and stuff like that, but the tires definitely look good. You know, I gave it my first initial kind of look through when uh, we were getting it. Lauren actually, you know, did the deal on this one, found it for us, but... Uh, not too bad. A little ding on the hood right there. See if maybe we can even straighten that out. But uh, the interior is where uh, it all starts to go downhill from here. Now, you guys know, you hear those stories about, you know, finding that nice car, you know, a barn find. You know, finding a car in a barn, they call it a barn find. You know, this one definitely wasn't found in a barn, but. I pretty much found a barn on the inside, but you know, the interior is definitely pretty rough. Um, what mileage do we have here? Battery should be good. Let's see if I can get the key in there. Let's see what we got for mileage. We're at 127,200 on the mileage. Not sure if you guys are picking that up with the sun. I'm missing a button on the radio, but this car reeks. It smells like a barn like an exact barn and show you guys to it that I'm not joking around get this door unlocked it even comes with the hay uh, I was suspecting a little piglet to jump out of here but you guys can see I don't I don't know if that's manure or whatever but a bunch of hay and dust on the seat definitely looks like something the back oh my goodness you guys can see back here, the interior is going to need uh, a lot of help here. But you guys can see the before, use this video as a before. Obviously, we could get these, th we could get this stuff clean. You know, we have the technology. There's a detail shop down the street from us too, if it's too gross for me. It looks like everything's here, not too bad. You know, I, I definitely, definitely dig this one. You know, it's got the sunroof, 
got the TVs in the back of the headrest. Uh, looks like a couple other pieces missing back here. Maybe we could source those or whatever, but hey, for 200 bucks, you know, I can't complain. We'll see what the motor's gonna cost us and all that stuff. I think we can make a profit on this one. So, this one, numero uno, the 04 Volvo. Now take you guys down over here, that G6 I was talking about. You guys can see, I've had this one, I've had this one for a bit now. Um, you can see it's been sitting back here where my cars used to sit. There's another Civic I got, but it's too far gone. Definitely don't want to do anything with that one. But this one's a 2008, I believe. Let's see if the battery's even any good. Yep, battery's still there. This thing, I believe, runs. Ah, battery's dead. You guys can hear it. But it does have the automatic start. All right, doesn't sound like that's going to quit. But the battery's definitely dead on this one. So this thing may need a battery by now, but this one's not so bad. I definitely, uh, this was one of my deals I did. You know, I, I definitely like it. These do sell in this area. Um, oh look, even comes with some change, so the car is already paying for itself. But this is it, the hard top convertible. I like it, same thing with this one. I know the history on this one, because I got it off a customer that, uh, you know, I, I did the work on it for years. It just, trans went out on him and uh, he was tired of putting money into it. So I know the brakes are good, tires pretty good. I want to say this thing might have a minor oil leak from what I remember, I'm not sure if, I don't think we ever fixed it, but it definitely needs a transmission. So 3.9 liter motor, I think in this one. Pretty sharp though. No uh, major dents or dings or anything like that. I kind of like this one, I really do. I think this one uh, will definitely sell. I think that Volvo will definitely sell. But guys, this is what we're working with. These are the two we're working with here. All right, guys. So I think this is gonna be a pretty fun one. It's actually uh, something I was going for on the last kind of flipping series, you know, kind of just flip up to something. This BMW ended up falling in my lap and uh, you know, I ended up keeping it for my collection. But this time around, I'm staying animate. I, I definitely want to get another Honda. You know, obviously working on customers, Honda is getting me back in the mood for it. But it's something I've wanted for a while. You know, it was that one, that Civic I should have never let go. You know, have one of those times, you always like that one slip by. This time, definitely going to find one, a keeper. But we're going to flip up, you know, and not only find a Honda, but we're going to do a build on one. And uh, I think it's going to be pretty cool. Take you guys with for the ride. I may ask you guys suggestions on what you think, maybe what we should sell first, how much we should sell it for. I'll let you guys know what these cars are going for in the area. We got a strong base. You know, the, the Volvo and that G6 is a good strong base. Those cars do sell in this area. I actually probably know some people already that could be candidates to even sell it to. So it should be pretty easy. Um, haven't decided what we're gonna do first, but you guys are watching this video. You guys let me know down in the comments maybe which one you'd like to see first. I think it's a pretty, it's a dead even. You know, between the two, probably the same amount of work into both of them, probably the same amount of money also to kind of get them going, but that Volvo <laughs> definitely needs a good, uh, a good cleaning. Like I said, guys, it's not a barn find, but I found a barn in the vehicle, <laughs> literally. So, ask you guys your opinion and thoughts and suggestions on these builds, you know, how we can do it. Keep track of the money, like I said, we'll keep track step by step. I'll leave all the money where we're at in the description, what was bought at that video at the time, you know, whatever the work's done, and keep flipping up. Even when we start to look for either a Honda or the next flip, take you guys with for that ride too. I think it'll be pretty cool, and just to show you guys that if I'm doing it, you guys can do it too. So, wrap this one up, get out of here. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Check you in the next one. Signing out.